Hey everyone, Rob here from Gunfather Milsim, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Roco Tactical Viper Hood. Obviously, it doesn't come like this from the factory. I added a bunch of disguise elements to it, and uh, when you use it in the field, you'll add a bunch of vegetation on top of that. But I'll throw in some photos here of how it looks from the factory. Um, I purchased this specifically for an op I have coming up, a 40 hour Milsim called Operation Underdog, put on by the company RealSim. It's down in D Day at Adventureland Park in Oklahoma and that is coming up this October. Now I already have a very good Viper hood. Um, this one is by Guiana Tactics. Um, as you can see, this one is clearly tan. The one I purchased is clearly green. Well, not only is this tan, but the base of it is multicam, which is the color of the opposing team at this operation. So this is a no-go, but I really like this one. So I had to purchase a new one, probably just to be used for this op. And I considered buying another Guiana Tactics one, but that cost $160. You can buy the Roco Tactical one on Amazon for $43. Is it as good? No. And I'm going to kind of point out some of its shortcomings here in this video. But for a one-use Viper Hood, it's good enough. So let's talk about it real quick. Let's talk about some of the good things. The actual fabric used to make it is pretty good. Um, this particular one is... Uh, M81 Woodland camo pattern. Uh, pattern looks good and the fabric is clearly a ripstop nylon. So it's going to hold up pretty well. Um, some of the features of it, I'll just throw it on real quick. Here. So it's got a clip, a plastic clip up front. Hold it in place. That's pretty common. It's got a hood. Um, the hood has some mesh on the side so you can see through it. As opposed to the Guinea Tactics which has these big kind of gaps in the sides. Um, honestly, I kind of prefer the mesh. I think it's a better design. There's quite a bit of adjustment. Um, you have some adjustment here um, via these kind of cordage locks here. And that one tightens up basically above your bicep, how tight it is there. Down here, you got another one that tightens it at your elbow. And under here somewhere there's another one that basically adjusts how tight it is around your back and then there's an adjustment for the hood okay that tightens how tight the hood is going to sit down over your head so there's quite a bit of adjustment in my opinion these things are kind of annoying um, my advice I, I prefer to wear these pretty tight so they don't move much i would tighten this up till it's pretty tight and secure and then cut it off and just tie a knot in it. Um, yeah, you could try to secure it up here in the sleeve, but as you play, it's probably gonna fall out. It's just gonna get in the way. It's just gonna get caught on something. My opinion, this isn't the best, but it's not a big deal. I like the amount of adjustment. I wish there was a way to store these without cutting them, but in the end, it's really not that big a deal. So, I mean, it works and it's, it's somewhat comfortable. Um, it comes with three clips on the back. Um, I cut them off already. I'm going to show you a photo of what they look like. So there's an additional element you can buy to it. It's, a, a, it's this big kind of mesh cape thing. But it doesn't really look like this. It's not really the same kind of material. Not really the same design. But it, do, it is designed to attach to the back of the Roco Tactical Viper Hood. My opinion, it just looks like it would get caught on shit. So I didn't even bother with it. So you can add more stuff to it. But those clips are kind of big and bulky. So I just cut them off because I'm never going to use that. So this cost about a quarter of the cost of the Guiana Tactics one. And the Guiana Tactics Viper Hood is good. It's not great. It's not amazing. It is very good. Uh, it costs about $160. Um, you can buy $250, $300 Viper Hoods. And if you're going to you know, go on a deployment and carry it over a mountain, then by all means, purchase one. Uh, the Guiana Tactics, in my opinion, is very good for by airsoft standards. It's something you're going to use maybe once a month. Um, this one. How did they get the price down so low? Well, they cut some, some corners in manufacturing, uh, particularly in the stitching of the kind of cordage webbing that you put your disguise elements on. So you can see here, the, the webbing is actually almost like kind of a, a shoelace kind of deal. Uh, it's just some nylon cordage there, which is fine. And I'm sure it'll hold up just fine. The, the real issue is how they attached it to the hood. It's just really quickly stitched on, like four or five stitches and they move on to the next one. As opposed to like the, the Guinea Tactics Viper Hood, you can see they actually went back and forth and added quite a bit of stitching at those attachment points so it's gonna be very durable. 
Now, how much durability do you really need in this webbing? All it's got to hold on is these little disguise elements. Um, if it tears and breaks off, is it really that big a deal? Um, no, not really. It's not critical. Um, it's not life and death. But you know, you want your things to put up with abuse over a long period of time. And in my opinion, if you had one of these for years and years and years, those would start breaking apart and you would start having some, some issues. Um, is that the end of the world? No. For the cost savings, am I willing to take the hit? Yes. Okay. So uh, for what I'm going to use it for, I think this is going to work really well. Um, once again, the only, the only holdup is that some of the stitching is, isn't really not the best. But they got to cut costs somewhere and that's where it's going to be. So I'm buying this for a 40 hour mil sim operation underdog and I am on the green team. They got a really cool name, but I, I don't know what the hell it is off the top of my head. Just know that I'm on the green team and I got to wear green. Um, and I'm also part of the sniper observation team, one of two. So I got to have some sort of, you know, ghillie suit or at least I should because I'm going to be doing a lot of observation, a lot of calling out enemy positions and whatnot, not necessarily engaging targets that often. So I want to stay hidden, but I don't want to wear a full ghillie suit, one, because they're hot and uncomfortable, and two, because I don't have 80 hours to build one. I just don't want to do it. Um, it is still a game. So I'm going to get by with this. Um, I made this. Um, I added the disguise elements I used are these little um, kind of see-through leaves, and then I, I cut up an Amazon sniper veil in the little six or eight inch sections and added all that. This took me only about... I don't know, 30, 45 minutes to put together. Doesn't take very long. And when you add natural vegetation to it, it is very effective. And because there's nothing below your waist to catch on, you know, branches and, and leaves and shit, you can still move pretty good while using this. Um, is it going to be as effective as a full ghillie? Well, no, clearly not. But it's going to be good enough for what I'm going to be doing. So that's all I got for the Roco Tactical Viper Hood. Um, short version, it's pretty good uh, for the cost. Probably not the best if you're looking for something really long-term that you want to be durable over many, many years. If you're going to buy something for just one or two games, probably perfect. So if you like my content, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell. You guys know how YouTube works. Better yet, if you really like my content, buy some merchandise from my store. Go to dyshowtactical.com. That's my website. It's my company I created just for selling uh, slings and patches for my channel. I sell several different models of my Dyshow Tactical bungee slings at my website. They come in a variety of colors. This particular one is multicam black. I have those for a limited amount of time. Um, I use these on real world SWAT operations every day. In fact, several members of my team also use my slings because they, uh, they like the product and they believe it works really well and gives you a lot of versatility in the field. So if you want to support my channel, go to dyshotactical.com and buy some merchandise. Thanks for watching.